Alright, so I got some people that might be from out of town that may not know who you are. So go and introduce yourself to the people. Um Houston legend, Houston rap legend, Texas rap legend, Southern rap, however you want to do it. Look Kiki the Don. It's good. Alright, so the first question is, what's your definition of a slab? Of the concrete. Okay. So as far as the cars go. I don't come from a time where the uh, slab was a car. Okay. That don't mean I'm dissing the new culture because I'm with it. You right. Know, you may hear me have, having a conversation talking about slab and I may reference it, but that's not where I'm from. The slab was the concrete. Right. It was the blacktop. It was the Kappa Beach. It was McGregor Park. It was the um, the trip we used to take to New York. It's the slab. It's the whole meaning of coming outside, coming from the shop. We finna hit the slab. Boys holding slab. That meant the concrete. Right. Later on, as times change, people start referring to the slab as a car, you know, they start thinking that, well, I'm not saying thank you, that's how you feel, but that was a definition of a slab to them. Well, the original, I'm from the slab, I'm still on the slab game, and the original slab term is the concrete, it's the blacktop. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, when did you put your first car together as far um, as... I'm from a long line of having cars at 15, 16. Some of them I put together, I don't want to talk about. Right. They barely was driving down the street, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm from a long line of, I love cars. I'm still um, fascinated and infatuated with the car game. And I started for cars. You no, know, as far as my first complete car, mm -hmm. with bumper, grill, elbows on it, everything, that may have been when I was about 20. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, I had two or three cars before that, mm -hmm. putting them together, and stuff, but a complete one riding is something I want to talk about. Right. At 20. Okay. So, I don't know if that was before or after you made Slab Holiday. Oh, that was much, way before that. Way before that. Okay. Way, way before I made Slab Holiday. So, so, take us in the mind frame of the reason why you made Slab Holiday. Um, the reason why I made Slab Holiday, me and T. Ferris. Who is um who was kind of like you know he assigned me at the time to do a deal with Switch House and TF Records. He loved music mm -hmm. and he loved input on music. He loved stories. So he asked me, you know, we create music. One of them was she loved her gangster man. Give me a story, man, about how chicks love gangster niggas and so, so and we made a song she loved her gangster. So he asked me one day, man, give me a story about one of the greatest slab times. So that was T Ferris idea. Yeah, yeah. Well yeah that was T Ferris idea. Uh -huh. Man, give me it one of, now not the word slab holiday. That's my idea. Right, 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 but right. The concept. The concept of talking about that particular event, that was T Ferris idea. Man, give me your greatest slab day. That's and I was loud. like, let me talk to you about it. That's you know, live. Like, That's that, loud. That was a great day we did one going to preview that time. That's live Slab because because till this day, yeah, it's still an anthem. Yes, yeah, and people and it's gonna be around That's forever. Right. Yeah.
So, just to back up for a minute, how did you meet Screw? Uh, from my barber. Okay. Uh, my barber um, in the hood. He was a hood cat. He's not like a barber now. I'm talking, he was one of us. And he used to just cut out with half of $2. And, you know, we used to get all kind of designs and stuff. And he was actually cutting Screw half. So, he was one of the first ones that got to do a tape. I snuck on one of his tapes. Your barber tape? My barber tape. Gotcha. Got gotcha. on one of his tapes. Next thing you know, I snuck in and got me a tape, and it was history from that. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, so the artist that's coming up today, mm -hmm. if you can give them advice on staying the independent route or going with a label, uh, go what would label. you say? Go with a label. And for what reason? Because what we done independent and how we doing and, and what we still doing, that's very hard to duplicate. We have um, fans that's locked in. They've been down with us a long time. The game has completely changed. I'm not knocking the independent route. I will tell, if you have the backing, the money, the time, and the heart, and the effort, if you just have the talent, go ahead and get you a situation where sense. they can maximize your talent. You get what I'm saying? Now, if you got the backing, you got your basketball player, street player, somebody who really believe in you, ready to put up dollar for dollar, hit this road, and you got that work ended, then try the independent game. I'm from a different independent game. You right. know what I'm saying? Well, these fans, they kind of grandfather in. Right, you know right, right, right. So I can still stay independent. And I still, and for the people that I'm trying to sign, I'm trying to get them a deal. Because what I do independent and how I get it, I love it. I control my own space. I do what I want to do, how I want to do it, drop when I want to drop. I'm in control. I got 60 albums under my catalog. It's smart for me to be independent. Right. That's not smart for everybody. Right. Okay. So... What gives you your longevity or makes you stay consistent with the music? Um, you know that um, I tell people all the time, I'm the, uh, the people's champ and the villain. I take all the darts, all the ridicule, all the hate, all the criticism, and that's how I get all the accolades, and that's how I get to be a legend. I'm, it's not one without the other. It's a lot of people that I stay humble, and that's how I'm able to survive. I'm always eager to stay put with what's time with what's going on. Um, what I mean by that is, my album be full of young cats. I'm going to do a video right now with DJ Chos. I don't have no discrepancies with keeping up with time. I'm from every part of the game. Vinyl, cassette, CD, streaming, NFT. Yeah, yeah. I'm everything. Makes sense. <laughs> so that's how I survive, keeping up with time. Okay, so what's your latest album and what album you got coming up for the people that My go latest check it out? album was the close out of my series, my self made series. Appreciate everybody that supported that. One, two, and three was great. Three was the last one. But my new album is called Legend. And um, it's getting ready to come out February the 4th. Highly anticipated. Worked very hard on it. Produced very well. And uh, it's a soundtrack for Texas. I give people in Texas an opportunity to get heard on some of the best beats. And, and I'm the soundtrack. I'm the, I'm the liaison. I'm the OG. And this one, and we got a couple special guests. We got Juicy J's. We got uh, we got different things. Big Crit, and I just kept it legend. And it's and um, I'm very. I, I don't be too excited about music a lot. I'm I'm very excited about this one. February fourth is gonna be crazy. We from Texas. First single with me, Slim Thug, Zero Sauce Walker. It's over a million views in two three weeks. So it's doing well from an independent standpoint. See, that's great independent. Right. And um, second single with me and DJ Chose. We're getting that soon tonight. I'm excited. Okay. February fourth, legend. All right, all right. And then, like you said, the video that you just saw with Sauce Walker, Slim Thug, Zero, talk about that for a minute. Um, the concept was behind that. I'm, a, I'm one of the biggest streamers in Texas. I got one of the biggest fan bases in Texas. Texas is a very big fan base. And from a Spotify and different types of things, um, iTunes, Apple, I wanted to do something for Texas. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get them an opportunity. We love Georgia. We love Florida. We support these artists. We stand up for them big. I mean, us as Texas, us fans. Let's do something for ourselves one time. So Tyler, Longview, uh, wherever it was, whatever small town it could have been, you know, Beaumont, Port Arthur, Houston, San Antonio, Austin. Let's stand up. Right. And I, I, I pushed that narrative, and it worked. 
Yeah. You know, they stood up. They really support the album. It's banging. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, we'll be at 2 million views before the album. You know what I'm saying? So I'm very excited about it. We from Texas. We uh -huh. What's going down? It's your boy K Dash. Another episode of Slab Season. We at the graffiti wall. Shout out to Lil Kiki. He told me to pull up. He needs some of that gear. They shoot a new video, so we here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all go check out his clothing brand, Self Made 713. And you know what I'm saying? We just, we about to turn up for 2022. Finishing off the fourth quarter strong. And yeah, man, hey, I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the supporters. And you know what I'm saying? Everybody that's just rocking with the whole movement. Let's get it. Let's dip over and talk about your clothing brand for a minute. Um, How did you get that started and where can people go shopping? Uh, Selfmade713.com, that's S-L-F-M-A-D-E, 713.com. Man, just taking advantage of the opportunities that's presented to me. Man, I, I'm pretty well, um, my platform do well for me from a content standpoint. So I just wondered that my, my clothing brand was more about the experiences and things that I went through, becoming self-made, 713, my city, legend talk, um, um, great tape OGs, and what we're doing, the great tapes and the hoodies, and the self-made is just more of a plain brand because it's about entrepreneurs and um, people who started from nothing, people who, it don't matter, you don't have to be, um, you don't have to be drug related, it can be anything. You can be self-made from starting with um, clothing brand, you self-made, man. Start from the bottom, getting one t-shirt, turning it into 10. So the self-made aspect of it is great. The 713 aspect of it is what gave me my legs to be who I am. So I represent my brand, 713. I got my own day in the city. So I made sure that I always had something to represent that. And then the legend, man, that's just the whole mystique and the aura of who I am, where I came from, what I done. So we got legend, we got legend talk, legend talk, OG. It's, it's, well, hey, man, I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, doing slab season for me. Uh, one more thing before I go, you know, slab guys that's tapping in, in, in that slab on the way. That's how y'all want to hear. Yeah. That's how y'all want me to talk about it. It's, <laughs> it's on the way. Yeah, yeah. Right, man. It's in the, it's, it's in the oven. It's in so, the oven. Get ready. I still love that. It's, I'm still about it. This is a muscle car. People don't think this the slab. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a different version of the slab. The Escalade, whatever. The slab is the concrete. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the slab king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> well, hey, man, I, I, on, on the real, you are a legend. You know what I'm saying? People I think definitely... I'm, the, I'm the slab king. Let me get this so people are how you. I'm not saying I'm the slab king because I had the most cars. I'm legendary in the car game. And when it far as from the microphone standpoint, yeah. I am king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's what I mean. It's the whole thing from the rap part and the cars. From a car standpoint, mixing with the rap. I'm a slim kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, yeah. You, man, what, what is the you about is about Houston man? culture. I can give you that nah, for sure, it, for man. sure. I love the culture, and I appreciate you having me, man. Big salute to your brand. I don't do this for a lot of people, man. I really love it, man. I appreciate you bringing your stuff. Give me an opportunity to wear, wear it in a video, nice quality. So salute to Savage Life, man. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Seven thirteen, self-made legend on the way, February the fourth. Salute the captain.